just as we're able to manipulate where our data is going to go, we're also able to do similar things to determine where our data is coming from. We can pull in data not just from files on the file system, we can also get input directly from the user. This is presuming that we're running our Perl scripts on the command line. We'll look at how to receive input on the web later on. To pull in input from the command line, we don't have to open a new file handle. Instead, we can make use of a file handle that is automatically open and waiting for us, and that's called STDIN, Standard Input. And the standard input file handle, as soon as we reference it using the diamond operator to tell Perl to take in one line of text, effectively halts our Perl script and waits for the user to type in the line of text. And Perl will know that the line is completed once they've hit the enter key and that line has been finished off. Once we've got our line of text, we can do whatever we want with it. You'll notice that we can also, as shown in this example here, omit the file handle for standard input completely and just use the diamond operator on its own. That's because standard input and standard output are both the default input and output file handles. So here we're setting the default scalar variable dollar underscore to the line from the default input file handle, in this case standard input. The chomp function, as we saw in an earlier movie in this chapter, removes the final new line. It's equivalent to doing a replace function that will remove the final new line on the string. Then we can return this information to the user. Now, being able to take input from the command line opens up a whole different set of possibilities in terms of what we can do with our scripts. In our next movie, we're going to have a look at some practical things we can do in terms of interacting with the user.